Hi, welcome, it's Craig from Pure Storage, and today I wanted to talk about cloud-based management with Cisco Intersight and Pure Storage. Let's get into it. What we're doing here is really talking about a software as a service delivery mechanism for cloud-based management. And this is really different to what uh, traditional management products would be able to do. And one of the key benefits of having a software as a service model is that we can actually utilize continuous integration and continuous delivery to automate new features and new capabilities being delivered into the platform without you as a customer having to manage and maintain infrastructure and VMs and patch management and all those sort of things around the products and solutions that are being used to deliver the integration. With Cisco Intersight, a REST API model is used to manage and monitor all the components that make up a customer's infrastructure. This Intersight platform really delivers a capability around APIs, using simple APIs to control and configure those components. This is a real simplification, again, compared to traditional management products where scripting or automation may be utilized, but the API can be used to drive that integration. Today, Cisco supports two different uh, subscription models for Intersight. There's the base model, which is pretty much uh, free to utilize, there's no additional cost, and that supports a number of uh, basic configurations, um, Cisco servers, um, some dashboards, all, all those sort of things where what they've also got is a paid subscription model as well for essentials. Um, and really the capabilities that we're gonna talk about and the components that Pure Storage have integrated into are based upon the essentials uh, subscription plan. Pure Storage is the first third-party company to have integration into Intersight. We've built a device connector that connects the flash array into Intersight uh, from an inventory perspective. This is supported across all the different flash array hardware versions and all the purity versions that we provide right now. The inventory completeness basically means that um, from a flash array with an Intersight, we can see all the volumes and hosts and host groups, all, all those sort of things, snapshots, those sort of things. But we can also see the hardware of that flash array as well. And that allows us the ability then to see the health of that hardware as well. This really gives um, customers the ability to see FlashDAC as a complete configuration within Intersight you know, from an availability perspective. There's also the capability to configure workflows and tasks. We'll talk about that more in a second. So as part of the delivery of um, the Flash Array integration into Intersight, uh, what we've done is, is we've actually built an Intersight device connector. What happens is the customer connects to Intersight using the device connector, and that device connector is downloaded and installed as a virtual machine on their infrastructure. And there's a single 443 secure socket layer connection back into Intersight, so that kind of simplifies how we do the security configuration and connectivity into Intersight. Then for each of the flash array products that the customer has on premises, uh, a pure device connector is actually configured, and that includes things like the username and password and the IP address of each flash array. The flash array connector is about to be available in a beta program. The beta program will be open to all customers that are subscribed to the essentials package of Intersight. Um, it won't actually be available for customers that are using the on-premises version of Intersight uh, as a package as a virtual machine. What's great though is a beta program is part of the 90-day evaluation process. It means that a customer that isn't actually using Intersight today can sign up for that evaluation and get access to the integration straight away. We'll likely have a, a between an eight and 12 week uh, program where we'll be selecting specific customers to provide feedback during that period. The other really important aspect of the Intersight integration that Pure Storage are delivering is around active management. Basically what that means is that an orchestration capability similar to UCS Director is being made available within Intersight. We've used the Pure Storage API to actually expose all the tasks required to manage and configure a flash array including again things like volumes, hosts, host groups, the snapshots, those sort of things. Those tasks can then be used to build workflows to cover typical use cases for administrators. That could be provisioning storage for a virtual machine and then formatting that storage as a VMFS data store, all the way through to actually configuring a, a UCS server um, service profile and actually configuring an ESX on top of that. So there's a lot of different options within the workflows. Also, it's customizable as well. So we're gonna come out with uh, five or six standard use cases initially, but as a customer, you'll have the ability to customize and build your own based upon your own unique use case.
As mentioned before, one of the great capabilities of Intersight and software as a service management tools is around the ability to deliver new features without any impact to the end customer. What we want to do is just quickly just go through some of the use cases and some of the capabilities that have been delivered recently in Intersight and show that you know, as new technologies and new capabilities come out, they'll be brought into the product very quickly. You can see here a timeline uh, based upon some of the new features. These can include things like the introduction of the UCS C-Series 480 ML server, um, all the way through to things like uh, VIC network policies and uh, RBAC controls as well. Um, you continue to see these new features being delivered, and that's really one of the benefits of Intersight moving forward. So when the integration has been completed, we can actually edit storage and manage storage from within Intersight. We can go into an array, and we can not only just see the inventory components, but we can also see capacity that's being used on the array too. So we can see here all the hosts, and then within a host itself as well, we can look at how much capacity is being um, used. We can see the host ports and what protocols are being connected, also the volumes that are associated with that host, and any snapshots as well. We can then see host groups with multiple hosts in, and volumes, you know, including the capacity provisioned and the snapshot capacity that's being used as well. What's important is, is we can also see the NAAID. And then from a hardware perspective, we can actually drill into the components of the flash array itself. So including controllers, the front end ports for those controllers, the actual SSDs or direct flash modules that are associated with that um, array, and the NVRAM modules as well. Thanks for joining me.